I'm actually very excited to be talking to you. Like, I'm really loving this new record that you recently dropped, Onto Better Things. And I want to talk about the production process, just because you have so many incredible collaborations as far as producers go, from Taz to Joe Pepe to Cashmere Cat, which is incredible. Like, what really, um, how did you guys come together, like, in the studio in that creative process? What was that like for you? Um, you know, these are all people that I wanted to work with in, in the past, so, you know, to be able to finally have them on the project was amazing. And, you know, I'm always into working with new producers and, you know, new artists artists as well that um, that I f with and you know we finally made it happen on the album and you know the fact that they're so different in their own way and, and the kind of like music that they work on why did you choose them in particular like to be part of this record um, because you know when I'm in the studio it's, it's kind of hard to, to pinpoint just one feeling that I'm having so you know putting these different producers in the room brings out a different side of me every single time now during this process like which song would you say like uh, challenged you a little bit the most just because uh, you did open up a little bit more on this record it's more personal to you so where did you feel like challenged um you know I'm not to like to my own horn or anything but I didn't really feel challenged you know because the yeah of course the beats different but it's me on it you know so um, I never have trouble being me and you know I just did my thing on each record and with these producers which one do you feel like allowed you the opportunity to step out of your comfort zone without feeling like you did I'm sorry? Which one would you say like helped you like step out of your comfort zone, try new things with this record? Um, I mean, Cashmere Cat, you know, is always super cool. Um, he brings, you know, different sounds to the, the track. So, you know, I always love working with him. And, you know, obviously working with Trav, too, uh, for like Obvious and Hopeless Romantic was, you know, a great time. Now, when it comes to writing personal music, uh, being vulnerable, is that something that you feel like naturally happens for you? Or is that something that you have to kind of learn to feel comfortable doing it? Um, you know, it's always been natural to me. Every time I hear the beat, you know, it kind of brings me into, you know, a story in my life. And, you know, that's how I go about every track. Now, uh, after this, you're going to be joining MGK on, on the tour, um, which is going to be incredible. Like, what are you, what are you looking forward to on this tour? Um, definitely, you know, I finally get to perform at my dream venue, which is Madison Square Garden. Nice. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. Are you l trying to do the entire record? Like, uh, h when you listen to your record, like, do you already know which kind of songs you want to perform on this? Or is this something that you're kind of having a hard time finding out? Um, you know, at first it was a little hard, but uh, we got the set list down and, you know, we got a bunch of new songs from the album. So it's going to be super exciting. That's awesome. Now you performed tonight at the vi or today at the Village stage here at Wingo Tango. Yeah. What was that vibe like for you? Uh, it was cool, you know, it's just getting on the stage in general, you know, is always a huge blessing. So to be able to do it today, I'm I'm blessed to be here. Amazing, man. And going back to this record, what would you say? What would you say was the biggest challenge for you? Or what? Do you, actually, no. Better yet, which track are you most proud of on this album? Um, you know, most proud of I would say "Let You." You know, is is one of my favorites on there. But to go into like you know the storytelling and you know. That looking back, like a song that takes me back into a period of my life where I wasn't the happiest would definitely be like obvious, mm -hmm. um, you know, because I was able to fully express myself on that record, and I'm I'm very happy that it's out. Do you think that's going to open more doors for the way that you kind of write and get more creative with with your upcoming music? Uh, always, you know, and it always changes because you know, as I grow as a person, my music changes as well. So you know, yeah.